Hi guys. So I'm coming on here to uh, show you guys how the little uh, wooden Christmas ornaments um, turned out. Now, as you can see, I have not yet done the one for the baby's tree. I haven't, for, oh, I just, I can't come up with a theme that I like for it yet. Because I, I want it to be um, neutral, but then I kind of wanted it to have some pinks and blues. So, I'm just all over the place with it. So, yet, I have not figured out my theme yet. So, maybe, uh, maybe soon. But I did finish the other ones, so, you know, this is what they looked like before. They were the, is it going to focus? They were the little wooden, and there's, uh, like, two layers. Um, so, this was the first one I had started. With the, the silver and blue. Um... And I did the outline of the tree. Don't focus. There we go. I did it in white because I wanted it to look like it had snow on it. I thought that would be cute. And then I used that um, that really neat glitter, the hologram glitter. And I put it on top of the silver star because I painted the star, star silver. This is not focusing very well today. Okay. So it's silver, but then I added the glitter on top of it. And it doesn't change the color adding it on there. You just put a thin layer on there and it's like it clears. Um, it dries clear, sorry. So that's the, that's the, uh, silver and blue one that I made for my mom. So, I used, I used this green, this holly green for the tree. And I used bright blue for the ornaments and the metallic silver sterling for the other ornaments and the star on top. And then of course the hologram on all the ornaments and stars. You can see it glitter kinda. I think on the on this one you can tell a little bit better because the gold stands out a little better. You see how shiny it is? So like I said, I liked the putting the white on there to make it look like snow had, you know, fallen on all the tree branches and that it was it was sitting in the snow. So on that one I used Oh for the white it's just it's just wicker white. Um, for the red, it's lipstick red and 14 karat gold. And then to go over the gold and the red ornaments, you can see the glitter, the champagne glitter paint, which is actually gold. And I didn't put any glitter on this little guy because he's a little guy. <laughs> he didn't need any glitter. He's a cookie. So he turned out really cute. I like him. I had to switch his buttons. I accidentally put all the red in this area. So I had to repaint over it, it's odd how it was it was harder to repaint over the red than it was the green no yeah no now I don't remember <laughs> I think it was the red they were both difficult 
changing. It was the green. Because I, okay, yeah, it was the green that was harder to paint over with red because I had to put a little bit of white in there and take a little tissue and scrub it around to kind of scrub it off. And I still ended up with like four layers of red to cover up the green. I thought that was weird. I always assumed red would be the hardest color to cover up. Oh, so there's the little gingerbread man. He's so cute. And then, oh, for his brown, I used uh, brown oxide. Can you see that fluid focus? There you go. And then here's the little angel. Look at those wings. Aren't they adorable? Like her little halo. All glistening, gleaming. So for her, for her dress, I used the Caribbean. Focus, not focusing. There we go, Caribbean. For her heart, I used the Valentine pink, not on purpose. That was just the color that <laughs> that looked the best to me. I thought the two, um, the Caribbean and this color, went really well together. And it just happens to be called Valentine Pink for the little heart. And for her hair, I used the same brown as the um, as the gingerbread man, the brown oxide. And then for her face, I actually created her color because I tried this um, territorial beige. And it was far too dark because it, it really clashed with her, the, um, her hair color. So it was way too dark. And I thought this was kind of light. This is a, a, yeah, it was light mocha. So I just mixed the two together to, to make her pretty skin tone. Isn't that cool? I like her skin tone. So... And then, of course, for her wings, they're painted white with the hologram glitter on top. That's why they glitter so beautifully. I just, I love that glitter paint. It's so cool. Look at girl. So cool. And her halo, of course, I painted that gold with the 14 karat gold. And then painted the, over the gold to make it shimmer even more with the um, the champagne glitter paint. 